In the last video, we installed my favorite terminal emulator, ST. In that video, I briefly mentioned managing shell sessions with a terminal multiplexer. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about my favorite terminal multiplexer. Now, if you don't know what a terminal multiplexer is, that's okay. We're going to talk about the basics of what it is and how to use it. If you do know what a terminal multiplexer is, this video still may be helpful for you because we're going to be talking about my favorite tool, which is not Tmux or Screen. Coming right up. My name's Wesley. If you're new to this channel, I make videos about Linux-related tools and topics. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing to the channel. If that's something that doesn't interest you, glad you're here anyway. So first off, what is a terminal multiplexer? A terminal multiplexer is an application that allows you to manage, open and manage multiple shell instances from within a single terminal emulator. So it basically allows you to have multiple windows within one terminal emulator. This may be best described visually. So I'm gonna open a new terminal emulator. So this is just a regular, regular old bash session and a terminal emulator. And uh, I'm going to open a very popular terminal multiplexer called Tmux. And that basically puts me into another sort of shell, but it's a shell uh, that kind of has this bottom bar here. And I can run a command, for example, df-h, okay. Uh, say I wanna watch this command. All right, so that's running. Now I can actually, within this terminal emulator, without even opening another window, I can use a keyboard shortcut to open a new window within this terminal emulator instance. So over here, I can just run whatever command I want. Uh, and I can keep opening terminal, uh, or I can keep opening windows after that. Uh, let me see, there we go. So that's what a terminal multiplexer does, is it basically allows you to have multiple windows within a terminal shell instance. A bonus feature that a lot of terminal multiplexers have is session management. And session management basically allows your uh, terminal multiplexer to kind of save the state of all of the shell instances that you have open within the, uh, within the uh, terminal multiplexer. So, so take this set of windows within my terminal, uh, terminal emulator here. Uh, I've got these up. Now, if I just completely close that terminal emulator, so like I've closed the window and I have uh, like it's completely gone. I can I can open, you know, other windows here or whatever, but uh, it's it's completely closed. However, this session is still being managed by the service under the hood. So if I open a new terminal emulator instance, I can actually run tmux list sessions and see that my session I had open is still up. So from here, I can attach to that session that I had running, running the attach session command, and then giving it the session ID, or dash T, and I get right back into the session that I was in. The most common use case for using a terminal emulator is if you're doing some sort of system administration on a remote system. So if you've SSH'd into a remote server, uh, and you want to be able to, you know, have multiple, you know, shell instances open without having to SSH multiple times, you can use a terminal multiplexer to kind of split your session into windows or even different, or, well, at least split into windows and do run multiple commands and do multiple things at the same time. I also use terminal multiplexers when I'm doing some development. So I'll open a session and have I, uh, in one window of the terminal emulator, I'll have my editor Vim open, and another I'll have just a regular shell session where I can run commands to build or run tests or whatever, and I can switch between the two. And I do that so that if I ever need to close out the terminal emulator or close the window, or I can even log out and log back in, and my session will still be up and running, and I can just reattach to that session. Another great use case is if you haven't installed a graphical user interface on your computer yet. Uh, you can run terminal emulators from the virtual console. 
without even starting a next session. All right, so we've talked about Tmux and what terminal emulators are and how they work. Now I'm going to show you my favorite terminal multiplexer. It is kind of getting back to the suckless principles, minimalism. Uh, the tool I like using actually has only uh, has two different components. There's a, the session management component, which is one tool, and that tool is called Abduco, which it's spelled A-B-D-U-C-O, I think. Abduco. I don't know how to pronounce that. So sorry if you're a developer, a developer for Abdico and I'm mispronouncing that terribly. But uh, that's the tool that does session management. And then there's another tool called DVTM, which uh, manages your multiple windows. With Abdico, the way you uh, start it is you run abdico-c for create, and then some uh, name for the session you want to create. So let's call it test. And then you would pass in an application you want to start. For example, you just start Vim. OK, so that's pretty good. So I can actually quit my terminal emulator. And just like with Tmux, I can list my sessions. And I can reattach to the session that I had running. OK? So that's what Abdico does. It does the session management. Then DVTN, if you execute that, it puts you into a, a, it's the terminal emulator. No, DVTM is the terminal multiplexer part of the uh, toolkit. So with DVTM, I can run commands. Before you run every command, you, you use the leader key, which by default is Control G. So you can create a new window using Control G and then press C. So now I've got two. Windows open within DVTM. Uh, additionally, you can go to uh, different workspaces, or I don't know if they're called workspaces, they may be called something else, uh, using Control G and then press V and the number that you want to go to. So I'm here in number two, and I can run Control G C and open another shell instance. And uh, one thing I really like about DVTM is if you're used to W D, or if you're used to DWM, the window manager DWM, navigating through DVTM has very similar key bindings. So, for example, you run Control G J to cycle down through your open windows, and Control G K uh, to cycle upwards through your windows, which is similar to DWM, in which you use mod J and K. So similarly here, we can open multiple windows, exit, um, pretty cool. So let me exit through out of all of those. So here's the tie-in. When you want to run DVTM with Abdico uh, so that you have both session management and a terminal multiplexer, you'd run abdico-c, say test2, and then just pass in DVTM. And it'll put, bump you right into a shell session. You can op open multiple windows. And you can close the entire uh, terminal emulator and reopen it and reattach to your session. Attach test two. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. I really like Abdico and DVTM because of how small and mil minimalistic they are. Uh, one other popular terminal multiplexer is called Tmux, and it has a ton of features, but I've only used like three of the commands of all of the commands that are available within Tmux, so for me it's just a little bit of overkill because I don't know what most of the features are and I kind of get lost in the man pages. So I prefer DVTM and Abdico because they're kind of minimalistic and I don't have to dig through to find commands. There's really few things I need in a terminal multiplexer, and that is, you know, having multiple windows and session management. So that's why I like using these tools. Anyway, if there's a terminal multiplexer tool that you like using, be sure to comment below. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, I'd encourage you to do so if you like watching videos like this. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.